Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we'll be reviewing the Chevy Trailblazer Active. This is the off road Trailblazer. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the large Miller Chevy here in Provo for giving me some time with us. Trailblazer, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. I'll also, include a link to my car buying guide. Let's get into it. Powering this is a turbocharged 1.3 liter three cylinder that goes through a CVT. Fuel economy is 29 around town, 33 in the highway, with power outputs being 155 horsepower and then 174 pound feet of torque. Before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So, starting with the hood, you guys can see here really cool coloration on this Trailblazer. Got the split light design, which I think it actually works on this quite well, especially with this color. But notice we've got a little bit of like painted trim here at the bottom to kind of signify it's an active. And speaking of active, tire and wheel setup is 225 by 60 by 17 in the front and over in the rear. So, pretty decent setup. I mean, you can see. Oh, oh, kind of all-terrain tires happening there. Pretty cool wheel design as well with the silver. Got these chunky fender flares. You can see the rest of the bodywork there as well. Notice the mirror caps are white. The roof is white on top of that. And yeah, that's the side profile. Now this leads us to the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function, remote start. We got the opening for the hatch, Chevy bow tie, and pop her open. Now popping into the rear, we've got quite a bit of storage space here in the back of the Trailblazer. We also have a spare tire underneath. And notice how I can hold this up. I think it's kind of like a fun feature. But yeah, I mean, it's not a big SUV, but it's practical. When you're all done, just press that and that will lower the hatch down automatically. Really cool taillight design here, the Chevy bow tie. You can see Trailblazer, you can see Active there on the other side. I like the exhaust tips here at the bottom. And yeah, just let me know what you think about this color, but I first saw this color on the Z06 Corvette, and now seeing it here on the Trailblazer, <laughs> I hope Chevy even puts it on more cars. It's cool. Now, take a look at the door panel. You can see this trim here is pretty cool. And then some soft touch down below. Got these kind of fancy seats here in the back. And then legroom back here. Pretty good. We also have a little storage pocket. Uh, and then headroom in here in the rear is actually pretty solid. Now taking a look at the front door panel, you can see again with this trim here and then the cloth that goes across. Got some more soft touch down below. All of our window controls. Notice the driver window is automatic. Got your mirror adjustments as well. Blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. This is cool for the hatch. And then active there on the headrest. Nice trim all down the center. We've got all of our adjustments there on the side. Got this as yeah, really neon looking light controls as well. Now take a look at the steering wheel. You can see soft touch all around. You've got the darker stitching there on the center. Redo controls there on the back, and then you can see on the front you've got practical stuff like voice command controls, cruise control, heat steering wheel button as well. And then you can see these stocks there on the back. Digital gauge cluster, really simple. Like it shows you all the information that you need to see in the car, which I really like. It's pretty easy to read. And then right next to it is the screen, so backup camera, pretty good resolution. And then as for the screen itself, uh, pretty quick response time. The different functions. So. Easy enough to use, analog volume control too. Got this kind of like cool straight edge there on the dash that goes to the vent. And you can see down below with the rest of the trim. Climate controls, uh, single zone climate, heated seats. Got some USB ports with this. See the wireless phone charging pad. And then we've got a few different things. So auto stop start, you can see the lane departure, stability control. It's for your sport mode. It's kind of like your weather mode. And yeah, this one's front wheel drive, which is interesting because it's supposed to be like an off-road pack, but it's front wheel drive. Shifter for the CVT, cup holders here, parking brake, got a little storage cubby. This is nice. I like this thing here on the top. I think it's pretty cool. Feels sturdy. And then we do have a big panoramic center. So it's kind of hard to see the window sticker here, but we've got quite a few options. Base MSRP is 27K roughly. Total MSRP in this one's 33,520. So like I said, quite a few add-ons with this one. Let's see how it drives.
Trailblazer active visibility. Let's set off. Interesting we put a CVT in this. Because if you get, I'm pretty sure if you get the all wheel drive version, you get the nine speed. That's probably another reason to get the all wheel drive version to get the nine speed instead of the CVT. But we'll see how this performs. Gosh, it's crazy how torquey Chevy's three cylinders are. Like, I know a lot of people are not really on the three cylinder bandwagon. I'm with you. I'm with you. But boy, oh boy, does this produce some low end torque. Go drive one. It's pretty darn impressive. It's much better than you'd expect. Much better than I expected. Overall, it's a, the Trailblazer is a, it's a nice drive. And it's got some cool things. It's got like these little grab handle things down here. I just noticed that. It's a pretty neat car overall. And one of the things I really like about this is that it's got so much low end torque. Look at that. It just, it's just, it's a good ride. You do feel the CVT. I think the nine speed definitely serves this car much better, but it's probably a reason why they're doing the CVT with the front wheel drive. This car's packaged very strangely. Front wheel drive, CVT, but then off-road package. It's kind of like the looks package, right? So all in all, the Trailblazer is yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good little crossover for, you know, $33,000. And this is more loaded up one. You can get these under $30,000. Just depends on how you spec them out. But yeah, for about that price range, I don't know. I think this is a pretty, it's a pretty nice vehicle. It drives, drives well. Don't really have anything bad to say about it. So that's the Trailblazer. And comparing this to the tracks to sum up that video, I like the tracks more. I think that the trail, this Trailblazer, don't get me wrong, it's a nice car, but I do think that the tracks just makes more sense. It's very similar in terms of, oh, dang it. It's very similar in terms of looks and features and drive and all of that and even engine is very similar how the power feels but it's twenty five thousand dollars versus thirty what thirty two thirty three thousand dollars here that's a lot of money especially at this price point that's a big percentage change so yeah if you're getting all-wheel drive right yeah you can't get the tracks because the tracks doesn't have all-wheel drive but if you're doing front-wheel drive i'm on team tracks all day let me know your thoughts